Welcome to The Miracle You, guiding you on the journey towards finding passion and purpose and how to discover, create, and live a life by your design. Whether your success has been plentiful or your missed opportunities have been overwhelming, we can help you become a more empowered, masterful person and show you how to share your gift with the world. It's time to inspire change from within with the host of The Miracle You, Vince Kramer. Hello, Imagination. I'm Vince Kramer, your host, and welcome to The Miracle You, where you learn about the magic of living your life by finding the example in real life. Over the last 10 episodes, you've heard me talk a lot about gifts and talents, about the miracle of you, and really what's going on is the miracle of you is the gifts and talents that you have that are unique to yourself that no one else has in that combination and the process that you bring it to the world. And that's truly the miracle of you. Sometimes we find that miracle in places that we don't expect. Our guest today is going to tell us a little bit about how she stepped into an industry that she never thought she would see herself in. And as she realized that she was doing all the supposed to's, She had the big apartment. She was overlooking the city. Life was exactly the way she thought it should be. And through that, she realized that there was just so much more that she wanted to share with the world. And as she looked at the people around her and noticed that they also had so much to share, she really brought her gifts and talents together in a way that has helped the world through much more than you would ever expect from the place that she started. She found herself and she developed even more gifts and talents to bring sales to the world in a way that those people who are here to share knowledge, that are here to share healing, that are here to share more about the understanding of spirituality, how they could bring sales into their lives, how they could bring sales in in a way that they felt comfortable sharing the gift of them with the world, really truly bringing heart to sales. And in that, she is bringing the miracle of herself to the world. So I'd like to introduce to you Christine Shalonsky. Hello, Imagination. I'm with Christine Shalonsky today. Christine is known as the queen of the sales success mindset, is a multi-talented leader in the field of sales success mindset, motivation, and strategies. She works with heart-centered experts who are tired of choking when making an offer or sharing their price and are now ready to help more people by giving their gifts to the world all the while enjoying the sales process and making offers with ease, grace, and confidence. Christine's experience includes over 12 years in successful selling and closing high ticket live events in the corporate world. As a sales success mindset mentor, EFT practitioner, and international motivational speaker, Christine blends the tangible with the intangible. In her heart, she truly believes that sales is love and that everyone, yes, I said everyone, can learn how to sell while being authentic and enjoying the journey. Christine, are you ready to share the miracle of you with the imagination? Of course I am. I'm so happy to be here. Oh, we're so happy to have you. There's so little in your bio. Could you share a little bit more about who you are and what you do in the world? Yes, I'd love to. So, you know, everybody's going through their own processes. And, and I'm quite sure we come to this question maybe later. So I'm, I'm not going to go too deep. But um, I came to a point where I really needed to figure out what my miracle is and how my life uh, was supposed to go on with, you know, my own wishes and ideas. And yeah, it was quite an interesting process. So I came to sales not knowing what I was doing, basically. I never intended to be in sales. I never had the idea that I could be calling a person and selling them a product that all sounded very, well, sleazy and pushy to me. 
So I really wanted to move to a big city and I chose Berlin in Germany and then I chose a company. So that's where basically I started out. And I came to the point where, you know, you kind of feel you have everything that you're supposed to. You have the great job, you know, you have made a, a certain career, you have climbed that ladder, you have the beautiful apartment, you have the person you're happy with, but still you do feel unfulfilled. And that is where I started my own quest because I realized I'm losing a lot of energy. And it felt like, you know, I was drained. And from the outside, everything looked great. I had the job, I had the promotions, I had the vacations, I had the beautiful apartment in the heart of Berlin, overlooking the city from my terrace. Everything was just great, but inside I was not very fulfilled. So starting my quest, I started with self-development and um, I became a coach on my way. And while becoming a coach, I realized that so many other heart-centered people can't sell themselves. They can't sell their own ideas, let alone making money with their own products. And it really came to me that I needed to do something about that. I wanted to support them and help them. And I wanted to make sure that they give their gifts to the world. So I dove in deep. I became a coach. I still stayed in that job for quite a longer period of time. And I realized by taking what I learned from coaching and putting it into action on my sales job, everything changed. I had better relationships with my clients. I made more sales. And with that, I made more money. And all of a sudden, I was free to do whatever I wanted to do because I thought, well, if I can do it successfully in corporate, I sure can do it for myself and help those people that I really wanted to help. So yeah, that's, that's basically still a short version, <laughs> but uh, everything uh, wrapped together. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much for sharing that. So there were little wake-ups along the way in oh, yeah. knowing that there had to be more, knowing that there was something missing inside of you. Was there any big uh, wake-up calls along the way that really got your attention and, and pushed you in this direction? I think yes. And it, um, I mean, it doesn't sound like the big wake-up, like I had, you know, I lost a job or I had a big accident. But, you know, there was a point in time when I went to work and just coming close to the building, everything in my body just was against going in. So my stomach hurt and I felt unwell. And that was going on for quite some time. And I thought, well, I really seriously need to figure out what's going on because I kind of had the idea that just changing the job is not going to change my problem because I was, you know, by just going to another job, I would just take whatever it was with me. So that's when I started to kind of secretly Google, like uh, losing energy, how to gain energy, like all these things to, to get some help. And also to admit the first time in my life that I that it was probably a good idea to ask for help. And I didn't, I didn't know where to start. So yeah, I, I had like several months of feeling super, super unwell each and every day of going to work, which was kind of a wake up for me because I couldn't continue what I was doing. And the pain became stronger and stronger with each day I didn't act on changing the direction. There were so many things in there that, that I want to pursue. I'm trying to figure out which way to go with that. Um, first of all, just knowing that the pains and the aches that you were feeling in your body were, were tied to, to where you, you were on the inside is, is so powerful. Did you pursue any medical help or advice, or did you know on the inside that that's what was happening? I think I knew on the inside that this is what that you know it was related to the job because when I left I was fine. <laughs> you know, the pain kind of started when I came like really close to the building and when I thought about, you know, starting my work and 
I was already in management. So, you know, I had to manage and motivate my team, but feeling empty inside, it made it like really, really hard. So I didn't just worry about me. I worried about how I would show up and how I could be this convincing leader showing them the way when I didn't feel what I wanted to feel inside. So I think it was pretty clear or it became clearer each day that it was definitely not a medical issue because, you know, the weekends I was fine. <laughs> when I left work, I was great. Uh, just, you know, in the mornings till, you know, I closed the door of my apartment, everything was fine as well. But then, you know, approaching uh, work, I, I felt that, you know, I had some stomach pain and some pressure and shoulders. And I was like, you know, the, it, something is going on here. I don't think it's like a burnout kind of thing because it was a very stressful job, but it was definitely, yeah, something I knew I could change from my mindset, but I didn't really know how. I didn't really know where to start. That's um, perfect in, in describing that we're getting messages all the time from our body, from the universe, and to be aware and to pay attention and to realize that these messages are, are telling us that we might be off track. We might not be going in the direction that we're meant to go. And it was amazing that you noticed that because that big wake up call probably wasn't too far away if you didn't pay attention to that. Yeah. You said something about asking for help. Mm -hmm. Was that difficult for you? Oh, yes, <laughs> for sure. I mean, I, I grew up like more like you, you just do it, right? You don't whine, you just do it. And I'm very driven as well. So for me, and I don't know if that's a German culture thing as well. When I came to the US to spend my year there as an exchange student, I was so surprised that people went, like a lot of people went to therapy and they talked about it. <laughs> like for me, I perceived that like, you know, they're truly in trouble. Why would you need to go to somebody and get help if you are not seriously mentally ill? I never saw it that this could be actually something to just support people because I didn't grow up with those opportunities. So really looking into asking for help or finding a coach or an energy worker or somebody to support me was something I had never, ever done before. And so the pain, let's put it this way, the pain was big enough that I didn't find a do-it-yourself way anymore. And today I know that, you know, asking for help and having your own mentors and coaches is the best thing you can do. <laughs> but that was a pretty big learning for me back then. Could you share a little bit of the process on how you went out to, to find help? You know, investing in yourself is hard. Um, yeah. Admitting that you need something from the outside, that you just can't do it all by yourself, especially for those of us that taught that, you know, we're the ones that are supposed to be strong. So could you help the audience a little bit understand that process? Yeah, it was an interesting, interesting process. So first, I still thought I can do it all myself. So I started Googling, like I looked for like energy, how to gain energy, how to get your energy back, like everything in regards to energy, because I felt so drained and I was, I felt tired. And, you know, then I kind of connected it because I'm so tired and so stressed out. I have these tummy pains and, you know, maybe my shoulders are so tight that didn't even, I didn't even have the idea that there could be help online. It, it sound, when I'm looking back, it sounds so, uh, well, not naive, but so not having a clue. So I looked for people in Berlin and, you know, I Googled coaches and then I found some energy workers. And the problem I had was most of them had such ugly websites <laughs> that I did not trust that they were successful. And that's so interesting because, you know, in sales, you have a different view on things. And, you know, it was a very high pressure driven 
job. So I was looking for these attributes that was like part of how I defined, uh, had defined success. That, you know, if you don't have a kind of okay homepage, and if there is no picture of you and, you know, the words don't speak, then obviously you don't have success. And I didn't want to go to those people because I'm, I thought, well, you know, I'm going to spend a lot of money. And obviously they can't even put a homepage together. So I couldn't find anybody in Berlin. And as I said, I didn't have the idea that you could get online coaching and mentoring for whatever reason that never occurred to me. So I, um, I found an energy worker that I kind of trusted and I gave it a try. But what I really found on that research was a coach training. And I figured, you know what, my resources, yeah, I have resources, but you know, I don't want to throw money out of the window. <laughs> so if I become a coach myself, it's a one year program. They're going to be amazing other people because you had to apply and it looked like a pretty tough application. And also I get coached because you learn how to coach and you get coaching yourself. And I figured, you know, it's probably going to be the same investment, just going and get coaching. Why not become a coach myself? That seemed like a better deal financially. <laughs> so I signed up for the coaching program, which uh, was really amazing. That's great for the audience. There's, there's always ways to find that you can invest in yourself. There's always ways to get to that place where you can get the help you need for your journey in other people, in ways to put things together that, that supports you. So that was an excellent piece of advice. Yeah, definitely. Keep looking. I, I think keep, keep looking and keep being committed in finding a solution, even if it takes a little bit longer or you kind of have to find a different way because everything is like it's supposed to be. So I think me finding that coaching training and putting me in a totally different state of mind and giving me so many different ideas of what people are doing in their lives was such a great gift for my journey. It gave you an opportunity to open some doors inside yourself that you probably wouldn't if you didn't have that experience. So, Oh, yes. Yeah. There's many ways out there for, for everyone to, to find a way to help you get on your path. Speaking of paths, our definition of miracle is through an act of love, sharing your gifts and talents with the world so others can share theirs. How are you sharing the gift and the miracle of Christine with the world? <laughs> Very good question. Well, first of all, I think by walking my own path, by creating my own rules, by following my heart, um, I do think that I inspire a lot of other people to do the same. People who might think, well, am I brave enough or bold enough to maybe leave the corporate world? Or, you know, is my heart really telling me the truth? So now we are years later, I, I travel the world. Um, I invested heavily in different mentors and coaches. I have my own business where I show people that even though they are heart-centered, they can still make sales and make money so they can have the lifestyle of their dreams. And I think when, when we teach something, it's always important for the person that you're teaching that they see that you walk your talk. So, and I, I, I think I managed to do that, to, you know, have my own laptop lifestyle business, travel, coach, have a beautiful place to live in a wonderful relationship with little ups and downs as all relationships, I would suppose. But, you know, just doing what I want to do. And it feels so fulfilling. And, you know, by, by walking down that path, your creativity grows you get more and more ideas of how you can serve, of what you can do, and you really see how you can touch other people's lives just by showing up. And I, I just love that. 
you know, putting that spark in other people's lives. And some of my clients, they, they just want to learn how to make more sales because they, they kind of suffer and not allowing them to sell from their heart. And then there are others who already have achieved a pretty great level and who are very driven, but there's just the work and they don't know how to put the fun into it maybe the travel or the wonderful relationships. So there's all these teachings on these different levels. And it's, it's just amazing to see how by teaching you grow yourself because you remind yourself of what's possible. And uh, it's, it's just a beautiful journey. So I think, I think by creating my own life, I also share my gifts. Uh, beautiful. You, you said something that's very important. And as we go through purpose work with our clients, when we talk about, you know, why are you really here? One of the things that you shared with us is that you are truly changing lives and you're sharing uh, the gift of understanding why you're here, but you're doing it through something that you love to do. You, you love sales. You, you like bringing the heart into sales and you're sharing that in a way that really helps other people. There's so many people that, that we deal with that believe that I've got to go out there and tell somebody how to live their life. I've got to go out there and, share how to find your purpose. And there are those of us that definitely our reason for being here is, is to do purpose work. But there's so many people that have developed gifts and talents along the way, learning how to sell, learning how to deal with clients, learning how to connect in, in a way that brings the gift of you to the world in a way that helps other people sell. So sharing with us that, you know, you're bringing your passion for helping people together with your passion for sales is so powerful and a great example for people. So we, I, I truly appreciate you sharing that story and in the way that you did is very, very powerful. Yeah. And, and I, I just love to inspire people to listen to their hearts um, I would never tell somebody, well, you have to do it like this and this, or you have to love travel. You know, if a person just loves to sit in their living room, having their cat uh, with them all day long and zipping hot chocolate, and they are totally happy, that's fine. There is no right or wrong. It's just like, what is your heart telling you? And really, really listening to, to the answers or questions you're getting and going for it that in, internal connection or that connection with source or your higher self is, is so important. And if you want more time at home to sit with your cat and drink hot chocolate, that's what uh, it's all about finding where your joy is and experiencing yeah. your joy. So yeah, we agree a hundred percent there. What, what are some of the miracles that have happened to you in your life? Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I, I think like each and every day is a little miracle. So today I woke up, it was rainy and um, I ran some errands. When I came home, the sun came out and it was so, so beautiful. Just sitting here and appreciating the, you know, the leaves that are now orange and brownish and yellow and red, just seeing the sun through that, it's beautiful. I think life itself is a miracle. Um, but, you know, meeting all these amazing people on my way to saying yes to myself, um, investing in myself, having these amazing mentors and, and coaches who show me how, how they decided to live their lives and inspire me by what they do. Traveling, living a year in the U.S., living a year in Paris, hopefully seeing still more of the world. I mean, there's so much more to, to discover. Um, I think it's all a miracle. Like just being here is one. And then allowing myself to, to follow my heart and to, you know, to be in flow as often as I can. That's a miracle. I, you know, I used to commute to work one way, two hours. 
so four hours each day, just waking up in the morning and thinking, wow, I don't need to go to that train station. I'm just going to have a coffee. I'm going to cuddle my dogs and, you know, let the cat out. And then I'm just going to go and do my meditation and write in my journal and, you know, turn on my PC and see what's, what's going on. That's a miracle for me. You know, designing my own life and, you know, being healthy and, and happy. That's just, sometimes it's just the small things. Oh, that's that. That is right on target. And if if more of us could realize that, if we could find what brings joy into our life and open that door, there are so many more possibilities. Because from that high vibrational place, we just open the door to to a life that we could never have imagined. And mm. now we can start flowing towards that life we desire, our, our miracle life. I know you're you're very busy and there's all kinds of things going on. There's some new things coming down the pike. Could you share with us something that maybe nobody knows yet that you're getting ready to bring to the world? <laughs> okay. I do it because it's your audience. <laughs> so um yeah, the the newest uh, thing that's gonna come out on November 29th to be exact <laughs> is my my own podcast because I discovered, as you know, that it is a wonderful way to reach people. I want to inspire these heart-centered solopreneurs who choke when they make an offer and can't really ask their price with interviews of successful people who have overcome their sales reluctance. So I want to give them inspiration during the day, you know, when they fold the laundry or do the dishes or walk with their dog or go grocery shopping. So they always have something to come back to, to get inspiration from and to change their life because I truly believe that when your own cup isn't filled, you can't give as much. So taking good care of yourself is super, super important. And if you run a business um, or if you want to run a business, sales is the backbone. Without sales, you don't have a business, you have a hobby. And serving people in a great way and getting compensated in the right way with a good energy exchange of what you are doing will allow you as an entrepreneur to do more amazing stuff with that money. So I know so many people, they want to find their own foundations or they want to give to a good cause or they want to invite their family to an amazing a vacation, but they don't have some money for it. And they work so, so hard. So just by showing them that there are ways to make money in a very ethical way by giving their gifts, by providing their services, and by truly changing other people's lives and getting compensated for it, um, is something that I want to put out more because I really think um, there is a huge need for it when I see all these coaches and energy workers and light workers that probably some of them have a pretty good business already, a good foundation, but they're still not making what they would love to make to afford the lifestyle of their dreams. So if I can inspire them um, with that podcast, that would be amazing. Oh, that's, that's great. You know, the, the most interesting thing is that, the, and this isn't anything against the philanthropic world, but if we all found our gifts and all stepped out into the world to share our gifts in a way that helped others share their gifts and talents, mm. like I said a little bit earlier with the, with the definition of miracle, we're actually giving so much more to the world and the flow of energy monetarily or otherwise would be so powerful that I think we would see the world change in a way that the, the need for donations wasn't nearly as powerful as it is right now because people would be finding themselves and opening the door to themselves. 
We're yes. going to ask the imagination to put their collective energy together to see your podcast come together in a way that supports the world exactly the way that you want to support them in bringing love into sales, to opening the door, to finding the understanding that sales doesn't need to be salesy. It just yes. needs to come from the heart. So we're going to send all our energy your way for that. Oh, thank you so much. I so appreciate that. Yeah, you're so welcome. How about a few lightning round questions? Are you up for that? Of course. Let's Excellent. <laughs> what, what's the biggest thing holding you back right now from experiencing the life you want? I think sometimes um, I'm just in my own way. <laughs> so, uh, you know, for example, with uh, the, the podcast, like if you want to deliver on such a high level, you really need to be careful that you don't go for, for perfect because then you put things off. There is no such thing as perfect. And I just need to remind myself from time to time that doing it is better than making it perfect and never getting it out. A few ums and ahs along the way doesn't mean that you need to keep this message away from the world. So, and, and the world needs your message. When we start coming from the heart, uh, there's so many things that are going to, it's going to happen for sure. Share one of your personal beliefs that contributes to your happiness, health, and abundance. One is stop just dreaming and act now, <laughs> which kind of plays into what I just said. <laughs> just don't go for perfection. Just, just do it. Um, there's so many people out there that dream of beautiful lives, that dream of becoming a millionaire, whatever that means, you know, they just say it, but they never do something. They sit on their couch and watch Netflix and they kind of expect that, you know, the pizza guy is going to deliver their dreams because they ordered it at the universe, right? So somebody needs to show up and bring it to them, which will never work. And I just, you know, by just doing one step at a time, even if you can't see the solution, but knowing from that deep within, there is something you want to put out and you might be scared, just start. And then after the next step, you will have an idea for the next one or for the next couple options. And you just keep moving. And all of a sudden you find yourself maybe in that new dream home or maybe in the exotic vacation place that you haven't thought was really possible six months ago. So by just putting yourself out there one step at a time, that's all you need to do one step as a, at the time and being in the now, you can do your own miracles. <laughs> you, you've shared so many great pieces of advice along the way today. Do you have one more parting piece of guidance for us? I think really knowing that everything you need is already inside of you and looking inside instead of outside, that will definitely change every single life on this planet. Oh, all your answers are on the inside, that's for sure. And no one has your answers, so that's the best place to start looking. I know our audience wants to know more about you, wants to get in touch, learn about some sales from the heart. Could you share with us how people can find you? Yeah, well, definitely you can look me up on Facebook or uh, just my, my website, christineschlonsky.com. That's Christine with C-H and Schlonsky is spelled S-C-H-L-O-N-S-K-I.com. And, um, you know, I also want to invite you that when you are on my page, there is an access to a success library where I put all my free resources. If you want to get better in sales, there are sales journaling prompts that I'm using to change my mindset, to get a better mindset regard in regards to sales. Or there are prompts for a stronger mindset in case you struggle, you might not be as confident or you might find yourself in a different or difficult situation. I'm a big fan of journaling, so I share all my secret journaling prompts right there with you. It has been such an amazing 25 minutes with you. You've brought so much to the audience. You've shared so much of yourself. 
thank you for being here today. I appreciate you so much. You've brought joy into my life today. Mine's just getting started. I know yours is starting to, to wrap up on the other side of the world. Thanks for being here with us today. Thank you so much, Imagination, for having me. It was a pleasure. Christine, on behalf of Mary and myself, we want to wish you a miracle day today. Thank you so much. Same for you. Bye-bye. Bye. You've completed this episode of The Miracle You, but we have plenty more to help you discover your own personal passion and purpose. Head over to themiracleyou.com for free resources to assist you on your journey, as well as register for our free webinar, Discover Your Miracle Life, Three Mind Awakening Steps Toward Your Unique Purpose, or apply for a one-on-one -on -one Your Life, Your Way breakthrough session and discover your next best step on your journey. All available exclusively on our website. That's themiracleyou.com. We look forward to sharing more experiences of passion, purpose, and life by design next time, right here on The Miracle You.